rush out to see this one. Nope. Sorry. What's going on, Filmheads? I am reviewing Rush relatively early, so yes, I can make that joke, because I'm the first one to make it, I think. Not really sure, but who cares? This is Ron Howard's new film, Rush, and I've been, I was relatively excited for it from the trailers, and just because Ron Howard was attached, Chris Hemsworth was attached, and the story was interesting. I had no idea what the story was about, so I, I was going into this fresh, saw the trailer one or two times, and uh, walking out of it... Guys, this movie is fantastic, and I, uh, it, it's so well crafted by Ron Howard. He he does a fantastic job, and that's 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 the main star. But going into it a little bit, uh, this movie follows the um, the story of James Hunt and Nikki Lauda. Sounds like louder, but it's Lauda, Nikki Lauda, and uh, you know they they do the Formula One racing, and they they do all of that, and uh, they go through all the races and stuff, and it's it, and it's it's a Biopic, I guess, of them two and their their uh, connection, I guess, not like relationship, but like their their um, their rivalry. They've got this big rivalry going on, and it's based on of a true story, of course. And starting off, I was like, Chris Hemsworth is supposed to be a likable character. I saw the trailers, and I was like, Oh, we're supposed to like him. And then I saw the movie, and I was like, Nope, don't like that guy. And then I, then we meet Nikki Lauda, and Nope, don't like that guy either. So, it's not really... Ron Howard doesn't paint you a picture of you're supposed to like this guy and not this guy. They're both jerks. They both have their ways of of just not being very attractive. You're just like, I don't really want to hang out with those people at all. And Chris Hemsworth does a fantastic job in this movie. He, he knocks it out of the park and he gets so invested into this role because whenever I saw James Hunt... I saw James Hunt. I did not see Chris Hemsworth. I did not see Thor. I saw James Hunt, and he got lost in this role, and he was the perfect man for the job. Is he, is he going to get an Oscar nod? It, I'm on the fence about it. I think he could, because he did a fantastic job. Um, the guy who plays Nicky Lauda, I apologize. I, I forgot your name. You are in... I know you're in... Um, uh, what are you in? You're in something. I can't think of it right now. <sighs> Now this is going to bug me, and I'm not going further until I remember. No, I'm kidding. We'll, we'll breeze past it. He, oh, Inglorious Bastards. That's it. Whew. Glad I got that out of the way. He's in Inglor He's in Inglorious Bastards. He plays Nicky Lauda. He's sort. He's he plays an Austrian racer who who pretty much comes in and buys his way into the buys his way into the races. And uh, you know, Chris Hems uh, James Hunt is like, I don't like that guy. What is he doing? I'm I'm the best. At this point, James Hunt is like the top dog. He's like Peyton Manning of football. Um, back then, and, uh, you know, he's doing great, you know, the women love him, he's got, he, he gets girls left and right, you know, he's, he's, he's very cocky, he's got a big head, and he thinks very highly of himself, and he drinks all the time, and then Nicky Lauda comes along, and he does great in races, and now we've got our, well, he, uh, well, uh, James Hunt obviously doesn't like him, if he's good, so, uh, and he wasn't expecting it either, so Nicky Lauda wins some races, James Hunt wins some races, and it's very equaled. It's not like James Hunt wins all the races and Nicky Lauda sits over here in the corner and cries. No, they both win their fair share of games, their fair share of trophies. They're pretty much equal, I guess you could say. But they're, it, it, it's not just a movie about racing. It is a movie, it is a deep movie about character study. And that's all I'm going to go into with the plot. Now I can talk about what I want to talk about with the characters and and. It really makes the audience ask questions, is this right? Is, th is doing this right, or is doing this right? And you know you've got a great movie whenever I'm sitting in the theater, and I'm like, that's a good question. I'll have to ponder that on the way home or something, because it asks, it asks some questions, and it gets deep, and these two characters play off each other so well that they, you know, they're both, they're both jerks to each other, but they do have a small, like, 10%, not even 10%, like, 5% of friendliness to him. Then something huge happens in the middle of the movie. I'm sure if you've seen the trailer, you know what happens. Someone wrecks, uh, something happens to him, and it's devastating, and it changes the game. Only problem is, the uh, the pacing is great. It's very fast-paced from, from start to end, but I think the pacing gets clunky towards the third act. I really don't know how to describe it, but at one point you think it's ending, and it's not. 
And that that that's honestly the only problem I have with this movie. Ron Howard, he has some of the coolest camera shots in this movie. He's got like uh, uh, there's this one moment where uh, someone's putting a helmet on after you know having a cast on uh, and like having his face wrapped because he was like damaged from uh, a, a car wreck and he's putting his helmet on and there's like a camera inside of the helmet and you get like a side shot and, and the color scheme of this whole movie it's it's dark the contrast is low and that it, it is a very very dark movie you don't go skipping out of the theater saying I'm so I'm so happy right now I'm glad I saw that no you're like I want to go home on Wikipedia this story because it's interesting and I had no idea who these people were before I saw it but now I just want to go and look it up and the ending is fantastic whenever they're comparing the real life people to uh, the fiction the the Chris Hemsworth and the other guy who played Nikki Lauda and it's 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 strikingly effective because they are so alike it's almost scary it's it's weird but overall, guys, this was a fantastic film with a great score from Hans Zimmer. Let me mention him. It, he does a great job. He doesn't overdo it. He does a, uh, I would say he does a, he, he came in and, you know, he did a good job listening to the score. I was like, this is awesome. And uh, I loved it. Loved the movie from start to finish. Gets a little clunky towards the end, but the ending it was a great payoff. Great, great, great movie. Comes out in two weeks worldwide. If you're in New York, at if you are in New York or L.A. this weekend, go check it out. It is coming wide release next weekend. This weekend we got Prisoners. Like I said, loved it. Loved everything about it. Loved the plot. Loved the plot execution. Loved the acting. The performances were great. Uh, who else should I mention? Olivia Wilde does great. She always does great, though. And uh, like I said, you really need to go check out this movie. Uh, so I'm going to go 4.5 out of 5. I'm going 4.5. Uh, I'm so glad I saw this movie. I saw City Chapter 2 last weekend. Looks, it, it was really, really good. I saw this this weekend, well, during the weekend. It was fantastic. And now I'm seeing Prisoners this weekend. That's three movies, three great movies in a row. Hopefully, Prisoners look fantastic. But uh, if Prisoners is good, that's three fantastic movies in a row. And that's that's saying a lot for this year because that, that rarely happened at all during the summer. But, like I said, great movie, guys. Go check it out. 4.5 out of 5 for Ron Howard's Rush. So, so, so good. So what are your thoughts on Rush? Have you seen it? And if you have seen it, what are your thoughts on it? Are you looking forward to it? And what are your thoughts on Chris Hemsworth playing this guy? Are you looking forward to it? Or are you just going to see Hulk the whole time? I sure... Not Hulk, Thor. I surely didn't. Uh, he did fantastic. But this... Uh, not this weekend. On Thursday, we're having a podcast. Me and my co-host. Hopefully, he'll be back. We're going to get some uh, other YouTube reviewers in. We're going to be talking about Rush. Spoiler free. You don't have to... I'm, I'm not giving anything away. I'm just going to go a little more in-depth with Rush and talk to you about what I really, really loved about it that I couldn't explain in this video. And then I've got Chase Lee coming to the podcast. He's going to be talking about Prisoners on Thursday. And then after the podcast ends, I'm going to see Prisoners, and I'll have my review for you guys either Thursday, late Thursday night or early Friday morning. So, yeah, the week is coming to a conclusion, but it was great. And, uh, like I said, go check out Rush, and I'm excited for Prisoners. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'm the Modern Film Critic, signing